Hey guys, what's going on? If you're new here, welcome. My name is Brittany Nicole. I have hooded eyes and I tend to do a lot of hooded eyeshadow tutorials on my channel, but I also do a lot of beauty reviews and beauty related videos in general. Like this one today, we are talking all about my June favorites. So most of these items are makeup related and I've made it a point to not buy a lot of new makeup this month so I could really use what I have. And this is everything I've been grabbing for. I also have a couple, like four, yeah, about four non-makeup related items that I'm gonna share with you as well. So if that sounds like something you're interested in, go ahead and keep watching. Okay, so I figured I'd start in the order in which I do my makeup and then we'll end with those non-makeup related items. So we're gonna go ahead and start with primer. The first thing I have been absolutely loving is the First Aid Beauty Ultra Repair Hyaluronic Hydrating Primer. This stuff is gold. I think it's about $28, so it's not super expensive. It's obviously not super cheap either, but I see a huge difference in how my makeup wears and how my skin looks before and after I put my makeup on. It plumps my skin, it hydrates my skin, and it just looks beautiful throughout the day. So I've been reaching for this nonstop, and that says a lot because I'm really picky with my primers. It's very, very hard for me to find a primer that I absolutely love. The last primer I loved, which this actually kind of reminds me of is the Too Faced Hangover RX primer which I really like as well but I have to say I'm liking this a lot more so if you're in the market for a nice hydrating plumping primer that works for sensitive skin check this out okay so the next thing I've been using nonstop is the Smashbox photo finish minimize pores primer so it's been a very very long time since I've used a Smashbox primer Probably since I did makeup professionally back in like 2008, that's all I used at the time that Smashbox pretty much dominated the market when it came to primers because they had such a variety. But since then, there have been so many brands coming out and so many drugstore brands, I just haven't grabbed for it. But I got this in a sample a couple months back and I finally opened it this month and I love it. It looks so good just in my little areas where I have more visible pores. So I use a very 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 tiny amount I mean like a, almost a pinprick amount just right here in this area where I have those visible pores I blend it in and the pores are blurred and it looks beautiful I find with a lot of pore minimizing primers on me they kind of pill up very easily with this it doesn't and it looks flawless throughout the day so if you're in the market for a pore minimizing primer and you've been having trouble finding one definitely look into this. I'm gonna pick up the full size the next time in Ulta because I like it that much. Okay, next up I have the L'Oreal True Match Lumi Glotion. I picked this up on a whim when I was picking up another favorite at Walgreens because it was buy one, get one half off. And I have been loving mixing this into my foundation, which is also a favorite I'll mention in a second. I mix just a tiny little amount in with one pump of my foundation and I get an all over glow. That's what I have on right now and you could see it's not not like oily looking it just looks healthy and glowy and I love it for summer this doesn't break me out it doesn't make me itch it lasts all day it doesn't mix in funky with any foundation I've mixed it in with pretty much all of my foundations and I haven't had any issues so I've really been loving this it's a big size as well it's 1.35 fluid ounces I'm in the shade light glow and I just absolutely love this for getting that all over glow you could even just use it on like the high points of your cheeks if you wanted to or under all of your foundation foundation if you wanted to for a glow. There are so many ways to use this and I have been grabbing it non-stop especially for the summer. Okay next up I have the L'Oreal Infallible up to 24 hour fresh wear foundation. This is no surprise I've been really loving this for the last like four months. Such a beautiful foundation. It works on so many skin types from oily to normal to dry. This color 420 blends so perfectly with my skin. I don't have to bring it down the neck at all. It has SPF 25 which is really really good for the summer it's really lightweight but the coverage you can get absolutely up to full coverage with this I just take a pump of this and then I mix it in with my lotion and I take a smaller brush which is also a favorite this is the Practic this is Sigma's sister brand the concealer brush I use this as a foundation brush I'll take a pump of the L'Oreal and a little bit of the lotion and I'll just kind of target the areas that need a little help and then I'll blend it out with my beauty blender and I'm done I absolutely love this lightweight foundation if you take anything away from this video pick up this foundation if you haven't because it's absolutely beautiful all right again not a new favorite for me but I've been grabbing for it a lot this month because it's so full coverage I can go in with a very very minimal amount it's the Too Faced Born This Way multi
Call to You Sculpting Concealer. I use the shade Vanilla. I need to go get another shade of this because when I put this on, it looks a little bit orange. I feel like all the Too Faced foundations and concealers kind of pull a little warmer, but I can use such a minimal light amount. I really like it. So I've been grabbing for it more in these warmer months because I can get away with a smaller amount and the coverage is there, if that makes sense. So if you guys haven't tried this, definitely try it. It's a radiant finish, which works really well for me. I don't have dry under eyes, but when I put on a matte concealer, it just looks really cakey. I have a lot of fine lines under there. So I prefer a more radiant concealer and this checks all the boxes for me. So definitely check this out if you haven't. I've been grabbing for it nonstop lately. In addition to that, and I know a while ago I said that I hated this because I was having really watery eyes and this does not work if you have watery eyes, but it's the Laura Mercier Translucent Powder. I've re-fallen in love with this. I use a very minimal amount after I blend out my concealer. I'll take my beauty blender and just lightly tap with a minimal amount under my eyes. I don't like to bake or anything like that. I just want to set my concealer and this blurs so perfectly. It's really lightweight and it makes my concealer last all day long. So I wanted to mention that because I've been grabbing for it a lot lately. I don't know what happened. I've just rediscovered my love for it. Okay, next up, I have a couple of bronzers that I've been grabbing for a lot. I have the L'Oreal True Match Lumi Bronze It and then I have the Maybelline City Bronzer. So in Maybelline, I have the color 200 and in the L'Oreal, I have the color 01. So do not be scared of this L'Oreal bronzer. It does have a little bit of a sheen to it, but it's not glittery, it's not shimmery, you're not gonna look like you have kids makeup on. It just looks really natural and beautiful for the summer. The undertone is really pretty, it's a little cooler, so I've been really enjoying this, but I really like to mix it in with the Maybelline. So the Maybelline has more of a warmer undertone. It's not super warm, definitely warmer than the L'Oreal, but together, they are the perfect bronze for me. And having the L'Oreal mixed in with the Maybelline just makes it look a little more natural and I think pretty for the summer. So whenever I've been bronzing for the last month, it's definitely been these two. Okay, and then bronzer, I've also rediscovered my love for the Maybelline Master Chrome. This is the shade 250. I think it's the Nikki Tutorials version. This is so pretty and so reflective. You need a very, very light amount, which again, I really like for the warmer months because it doesn't get too heavy. And it is so pigmented and beautiful. No matter what way you turn, you'll see this. I've had this for many, many months, but I rediscovered it this month and I've been grabbing for it nonstop. So if you haven't checked out the Maybelline Master Chrome line, check it out. You will absolutely love it for a drugstore formula. It's definitely one of the best. All right, next up, I've been really into cream to powder blushes. So the ColourPop Super Shock Cheeks are my absolute favorite, especially in this color No Vacancy. That's what I'm using today. I know it looks kind of scary in the pan, but it doesn't go on that heavy unless you really, really build it up. I like to go in with my Practic Bronzer Contour brush for this. This is absolutely perfect. And I just kind of focus on the apples and then blend it back. If you guys want to get into more cream blushes, especially for the summer, which is really nice, check out ColourPop's formula. I think it's the easiest to use if you're just trying to start to explore because cream blushes can be kind of difficult to use, but these are really, really foolproof. They have so many colors. I need to order more. I just have no vacancy and count me in, but without fail, I've been using these for blushes for the last month. Okay, next up for brows, I've been grabbing nonstop for my Benefit 24-Hour Brow Setter. This will not let your brows move all day long. It is a little bit hard when it dries down, but that's because it really locks in your brows all day. If you go in too heavy with your brow product, you can grab something like this and it just kind of separates everything and makes it look a little bit better. There's no formula that compares this, not even soap brows for making your brows stay up all day. You just have to kind of get used to, it's going to be kind of like a crunchy hard brow so you can't really mold them once it dries down but this is so beautiful for the summer if you don't want your brows to go anywhere all day okay a couple of eyeliner products that i discovered this month this is the sigma longwear gel eyeliner pencil in wicked this is so pigmented it doesn't budge all day you need the smallest amount and it works in the summer heat for me of course i get a little bit of transfer i only apply this to my upper waterline i get a small bit of transfer on the lower waterline that happens all the time with any eye liner pencil that i'm using but this i have been grabbing for non-stop because it lasts through the heat and you really need a tiny tiny bit and it goes on 
so smooth. The only issue I have is I went to sharpen it and I put it in the bottom here and then it kind of got stuck. So I've been loving that in addition to their liquid eyeliner. Again, it's in the shade Wicked. This is the liquid pen eyeliner. If you have small eyes like I do, this gets in really easy into that fold where your lashes kind of meet your lid. It's very, very pigmented. You need a tiny bit. It goes on really smooth and it doesn't have a flimsy tip. So it's, it's easy to use if you're a beginner. So I've been loving that as well. Okay, and finally, for the hot summer months, you need a really good setting spray. Scandinavia Makeup Finishing Spray, the bridal kind, is the absolute best setting spray in the world. I use this when I did makeup as well and I would have clients constantly tell me they woke up the next day after dancing all night and going to sleep that their makeup was still on. I think that they make Urban Decay's All Nighter as well. Don't quote me on that. I'm pretty sure I heard that but I prefer to get it directly from Scandinavia in the bridal because I think it makes an, a big difference. So if you sweat all day and you need your makeup to not go anywhere, check into this. Unfortunately, I think you can only buy it online, which is kind of a bummer, but they do a bunch of promos. Like they'll send two free samples with this. So check this out if you need long lasting makeup all day. All right, so that's it for the makeup related items. I just have a couple of non-makeup related items. So the Bioderma Sensitive Micellar Water has been a blessing. This gets all your makeup off. It's easy for around the eyes. It doesn't burn at all. I use it all the time when I'm here doing swatches and have to wipe it off. This is like $15 and it's pretty big. It's 500 milliliters, 16.7 fluid ounces. And I have not found a micellar water that works as good as this. And it doesn't leave that like kind of gross film on your face so I've been using this in, in the morning instead of washing my face I'll go in with this just to kind of keep everything from getting stripped so I have absolutely been loving this this I think is sold at drugstores some drugstores at, as well Ulta I bought mine on Derm store so I just wanted to mention that really quickly I also have the Olaplex number no. six bond smoother. So this has made the integrity of my hair so much better over the last few months. I have been using it for a few months and I can definitely feel a difference. I have processed blonde hair and the bottom gets really tangly and knotty and I have seen a huge difference in the strength in using this. I did not like the like the one, I think it's called the number no. three that you use in the shower and kind of brush out. I used that for like a year and saw no difference. Using this for a few months, I've seen a huge difference. So check this out if your hair needs some strengthening. Olaplex, if you have blonde hair especially, is a really good brand. So wanted to mention that. And then I have this amber oil. I know I mentioned this a while ago, but I've been trying to use a little bit more of like natural products instead of such like heavy chemical products. And this amber oil smells so good. If anything, the next time you're in Whole Foods, please go smell this. I use this around like my pressure points or areas where I sweat and it lasts all day. Anytime I wear this, someone will go up to me and say, what are you wearing? It smells so good. So I wanted to mention this because I've been using it nonstop in the summer months. And then finally, I have this Method Body Wash. This is, there's not a scent to this one. It just says stay hydrated, but it smells so good. It kind of reminds me of this Johnson & Johnson, I think it was called like honey and oatmeal baby wash that a little girl used to use when I babysat her. I love the smell. It lasts for a long time after you get out of the shower and it's a little bit more on the natural side. So it's cruelty free. It's certified to benefit people in the planet, which is good. And the bottle's made with recyclable plastic. So I wanted to mention this as well because I have been loving it. So that is it for this one, you guys. Thank you so much for watching. I know this was a lot of products, but like I said, I've been trying to use a little bit more of what I have rather than buy new. So if you have any questions, as always, please let me know below. Otherwise, Otherwise, if you're interested in seeing any more videos from me, please subscribe. If you enjoyed this video, give it a thumbs up and I hope to see you in the next one. Thank you so much. Bye-bye.